Hey folks, it's Jim from Amaki again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a print cut file uh, using Illustrator and one of our plugins for Illustrator called Mamaki Rasterlink Tool. Um, and then once we're done with that, then we're going to send it over to our RIP, Mamaki Rasterlink 6. So what I want to do first is open up a file. So I'm going to actually go under File and go find an image. Okay, print with compassion. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to select the image. So I'm just going to do a little shortcut here called Control A, which selects my image. And now I'm going to use the plugin right here. Okay, and this is also used for Corel Draw. Uh, I'm going to use the frame extraction button. Okay, now I get an extract frame window that opens. Um, the offset is basically do I want to cut? right to the image or do I want a little space around it or do I want to go inside my image well for this demonstration I'm gonna go a little bit outside so I'm gonna leave a little bit of white space around my image so 0.08 and I'm gonna use round for joins and say okay okay that's how simple it is uh, to create a cut line uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to send it over to Mamaki Rasseling 6 which is our rip so again, I'm going to use the little plug-in here. I'm going to click on the Rasterlink 6 icon. And I'm just going to navigate through a couple folders here. MIJ Suite. Hot folder. And then I'm going to select the printer that I'm using, which is the CJV150 with silver and white. And I'm going to say Open. I'm going to say Save. And then I'm going to say OK to the EPS options. And that's it. And so now I'm going to open up Wrestling 6 so you can see what's going on. OK, the file hasn't come over yet, but it's coming. OK, here it is. OK, so now we have a cut file and we have a color file and it's linked. So the first thing we want to do is set up our quality which is our resolution. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is select a paper profile, which is what we're going to be using, which is Aurafoil 3551G. Okay. And now we're going to go to our general print option. Okay, and now I'm going to set maybe three copies. Let's go ahead and set three copies here. So one, two, three. Uh, that's four. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and arrange in the center. And let's also put some crop marks on, and I'll explain the use for them in the next window. Okay. So now let's go to our execution button. Okay. Um, as you saw me put crop marks on, and really what they're used for is very accurate cutting. But they're also used for if you were going to print something, and then you were going to go laminate it, and then bring it back into the machine, you need to have these crop marks on. So if you were going to do a print, laminate, and cut, your workflow would look like this. The first thing you would do is you would just print only. Okay, you would print your job, you would laminate it, you would bring it back into the machine, the machine would recognize your crop marks, and then the only thing that next you would do is say cut. And you of course you would hit start. Okay. But for this demonstration, we're going to do print and cut. So basically, it's going to print, it's going to back up, and then it's going to cut. Okay, and I like using rip and print. And then we hit the stop button. So that's it, folks. It's really simple to do. Uh, it's not complicated. You saw what I did. So I hope this helps. Thank you.